We are still on the IoT as a system and on the IoT hardware. So the same document and we can have a look on the, how the components look like. So if the IoT platform is run on, on a server room, so it's the server uh, computer units in there uh, running on a server rack in a server room of the company or we can buy the server capacity from a an company, another company, which is specialized on running the server rooms, and we just buy a capacity from their serv servers as a virtual, virtual server. Or then we haven't got the, let's say, the, we don't mind about the hardware at all, we buy the whole thing as a cloud service. Then like from the companies like Amazon, AWS, and then it's, it's their problem how it is set up in the servers. Then to get the information up to the IoT platform, so quite often we saw, we saw in the picture that there wasn't like a specialized uh, communication network, a wireless LAN, a wireless network, not the normal wireless LAN, VLAN or Wi-Fi, but something else. So then we need in between the of getting that network uh, to communicate up to the open internet we need some kind of gateway there in between and then there is an uh, for example in this picture from a company Advantec. Advantec is one of the providers of let's say electronics computer hardware for industry and then there is a low range uh, wide area network. So LoRaWAN network, that's a wireless network. So this is the antenna for the LoRaWAN. And then there is an Ethernet router. So this is like the contact point from the LoRaWAN network to the normal Ethernet and then to the internet. So we could set up something like this in the laboratory as well. We have there our own LoRa one radio unit, which is then connected to the Ethernet. And we have also some radio cards that work with the microcontrollers. And we could set up an, like a an system like with this kind of hardware. Then anyway, if we are in the LoRa one or using the LoRa one network to, 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 to integrate the sensors in the system, so then there could be this kind of like a sensor module. This box, box here we see in the picture is about 50 millimeter in diameter. So it is round because it goes inside certain kind of uh, hardware in the industry. That's a certain physical format of the things for measurements in the industry. So that's why it's round. And then this is an interfacing, just normal signals from the sensors, like switches, temperature sensors, whatever. The information goes wired into this box and then wireless with this antenna out from this box to the lower one network. And then this picture is referring to the situation that we have some kind of automation system controlling the processes in industry. And then we would like to get out the information from there, the sensor information to the IoT platform. So that one seen on the right here is a programmable logic controller. So it's got digital inputs and digital outputs. And it works like our microcontroller in our microcontroller exercises that there is a program inside, which is like reading all the input values and then making the decisions, controlling all the output values. The only difference is that this is really made for the industry. So there is an like an, it's protected from the over voltages 
it is uh, typically connected to 24 volt DC system. All the sensors work with 24 volts and all the actuators like valves for the pneumatic system, valves for the hydraulic systems, controllers for the electric motors, whatever, they work with that same 24 volts. So that's like a standard device in industry for controlling. And then in this, this is a setup from the Siemens, company Siemens, which is one of the most important players in, in that field. And out of this controller, it goes in an ethernet cable into the next one. And then this is a router here. So that it's, uh, Uh, just a moment, which way around. Yeah, the, the last one is a router, which makes the connection to a 3G, 4G mobile phone network. And then the box in the middle is then the Cloud Connect gateway which is then getting the information from the uh, memory of this controller and writing that information again in a format which is then understandable in the IoT system. That's typically an MQTT formatted message which goes then to the router and over the 3G, 4G network to the internet and finally to the internet and so on. So there is that device picking up the information from the automation system and then formatting it again to that format which is then understandable in the normal IoT platforms like those Amazon AVS or, or EBM Cloud Watson or whatever. And then, yeah, the next picture of the hardware, now we are thinking about not the industry, but we are thinking about the applications at home. So uh, this is a router for the Z-Wave communications. So it's a size of like five centimeters times 10 centimeters a box, which you stick in a normal socket outlet. So the normal 230 volt socket outlet and it provides the Z-Wave communication network, the wireless network, and then from this cable, you can plug it to a normal ethernet cable at home. And it is routing all the information from these uh, sensors and other devices at home into the uh, normal internet. It's also like, creating the MQTT messages out of the sensor information. And this is like a standard system. This is from a company Tvolo. And then there is another one, which is a company Abus. And then so on. So it's a standard system to standardize like messages in the system. And then there is from a third company, a really small sensor. This is the size of a finger roughly because this is the small three volt battery typically used in, in photo cameras and so on. And then it's got the electronics in here and this seems to be a door switch. So that's how the hardware might look like at home. And then Finally, it's like we are doing at the moment. We are just trying to get to know that how do you work with the sensors and microcontrollers. And then there might be that kind of development board. This is a small one. So this is the normal pin heater in here. So it's roughly 10 millimeters from here to here. So 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters, the whole board. It's got an array of microphones to detect the sound and the direction of the sound and some acceleration sensors and whatever. And then a microcontroller 
and a radio part in it. So that was how the hardware might look like in the Internet of Things systems.